everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 92. Today we'll be stitching with my four-in-one machine quilting ruler. Now, before I get stitching, I do want to let you know I have a little bit of this Westerly stable tape on my ruler. In the video, you'll notice I'm not stitching with this stable tape. Personally, I move my ruler so fast that I don't always use stable tape. Sometimes I feel like it gets in my way. But if you're starting out with rulers and you're struggling with slippage or anything like that, this stable tape is a great product to really help you out, help kind of secure your quilt or your ruler. I mean, help it just kind of grab your quilt top and not slip around as much as without anything on the back. So we do have that available on our website, peaceandquilt.com, if you wanna hop over there and check that out. Before we do get to the video though, I do wanna let you know or remind you, if you haven't seen it yet, my brand new book, Visual Guide to Creative Straight Line Quilting, is now available. I've spent the last couple of years writing this book and working on it, and I hope you are all able to find as much inspiration from this fun straight line book. It's all focused on ruler work, which you all know that I'm obsessed with right now. So. Hope you find a little bit of inspiration from that book. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. I'll begin by using my blue Mark Beyond marker and finding the center on all three sides of my triangle, leaving a little mark there. From there, I'll begin stitching near one of the sides or on one of the sides of the triangle and I'm going to start stitching point to point. So from the first point on the side I'm going to stitch to the top of the block to the opposite point. From there I'll travel along the ditch moving over a half an inch so that the first marked line on the 4-in-1 ruler is on top of my previous stitching line. From there I'll stitch a second straight line a half an inch away from the first one. I'll repeat this process moving all the way to the outside of the block, filling in those straight lines every half an inch. Once I've moved all the way to the outside of the block, I'll move back to the center, traveling along the ditch, and I'll stitch from that center point to the marked point on the other side of the triangle. From there, I'll repeat the same process, stitching straight lines at every half an inch, moving all the way to the outside of the triangle. I'll again repeat that process on the third side of the triangle. After I've filled in that third side, then I'm going to move to the center, that open triangle that I've now created in the center, and I'm going to begin stitching a triangle that spirals into the center. This time, however, my lines are a little bit closer. You'll see here that they're just a quarter of an inch apart. So I stitch my first line coming from the edge just a quarter of an inch below my first line. When I reach the point where the side of my ruler foot is next to my previous stitch line, I'll stop, adjust my ruler, and continue stitching from there. I'll repeat that process spiraling into the center until I've stitched out that beautiful design completely. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.